Hey, how's it going? Brian's here. So today I wanted to make a video to cover a few things and this is sort of on the fly to share my knowledge of the restaurant um, industry with you. So as my time as a manager, I was also, um, we also had to do uh, sexual harassment, harassment training and anti-discrimination training um, as management, staff, owners, and so on and so forth. So I managed a restaurant on, uh, before in New York City and I wanted to give a quick rundown of the anti-discrimination sexual harassment training and harassment training in um, general and this isn't all inclusive and this is all what I can remember off the top of my head a lot of it could be wrong or um, misleading or incorrect if so bear with me I don't mean to be wrong and I don't mean to give wrong information and this is all pre March 2020 the last time which is the last time um we had to do this training thing or at least discussion or meeting about about it so we're, we're gonna talk about um discrimination sexual harassment and harassment in general particularly pertaining to the restaurant workplace employees uh interacting with guests and um certain examples so what sexual harassment discrimination harassment it's basically don't discriminate uh against any of the protected classes um gender gender identity um age as long as they're at least of legal age to work so age is, is a unique one because you as long as they're of legal age to work and and like for example um they can't drink alcohol if they're less than 21 but if you have to do like a tasting to know the alcohol that's a different story too but they have to be a legal age to work um and you can't discriminate against uh race sex national origin color religion um so on, so on and so forth and sexual harassment is basically um is like could be it's basically workplace environment where you're doing sexual harassment like like um doing something against someone based on sex is not inclusive to that so of the three things i guess i'll co cover um the first one which is discrimination so you're not allowed to discriminate against anyone for a protected class so like for example if you have a a, a man and a woman um you 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 can't discriminate and say for example i only hire male bartenders that's discriminatory or or if you have a role like let's say a dishwasher you can't say you're a woman you can't be a dishwasher um because all that's discrimination or you're saying that that you're uh i only hire waitresses i'm not sure how hooters got away with this one but but anyway long story short you can't just say this role is specifically for male or female because that's discriminatory um in terms of the restaurant industry so what ways that you that this can happen is if let's say someone wants to become a dishwasher and it's a woman and you you can't go oh it you can't you can't do this because you're a woman that's dis, that's discrimination or you can't say that um you're you're of a certain race so you can't do this job like that's also illegal so that's that or you can't say say thing they, like you can ask things like can you lift at least 20 pounds of or can you be on your feet all day can you but then like you can't discriminate against disabilities too so you have to provide some so, level of accommodations um for it too but long story short don't discriminate sexual harassment is comes into the place where it's like um there, there's different forms of it like for example you can't you have an employee you can't like physically you can't physically like do things like inappropriate physical touching um you can't do things like quid pro quo like you can't say like i'll promote you to be a bartender if you sleep with me like that's sexual harassment so which is which is exceptionally illegal um you can't do things like that or you can't say i'll only give you good shifts if you do this for me so like that's pr quid pro quo like you can't go around and you can't um do things like name calling someone like like uh on work if you're if you're a colleague or a manager you can't just go 
you can't go around and saying like hey toots like that's um sexual harassment or that's all that definitely also workplace harassment so um you can't do things like say like the discrimination like like um if someone is chinese you can't go and say say um like you can't go around call like saying go go to a or call them names or whatever because they're chinese you can't use racist slurs that's also discrimination and hostile work environment so that's that's that part and then there's the other part which is the uh no retaliation part of the law which is that if let's say any employee reports to their manager like hey um i've been sexually harassed or discriminated against that employer by law has to actually find out what went on and they cannot during that time whether or not that employee is right or wrong or making it up the, irrelevant the, there's a no retaliation like like you you can't tell me i i was just harassed by this colleague and then i fire you for it like that's illegal that's a retaliation that's illegal and then also if um let's say um the manager can't find a solution then you go to the owners if the owners can find a solution well you can always go to the new york state and then make a um formal complaint complain talk to an attorney in new york state and then there's like websites you can google this and uh find out resources there so you're not alone so so it's very important to have a safe um environment free of discrimination harassment sexual harassment and stuff and stuff like that because it it's the law for one and two i found that it makes a better workplace so that so um that's just a brief introduction of, of certain aspects of um the workplace also the other one that's also maybe not known is let's say there's a uh employee and they witness two other employees like like uh one of them's getting sexually harassed or whatever that employee can then tell the manager or someone or report it because it it makes them uncomfortable and you don't want a situation like other two other two people are saying things and harassing each other and that that makes for a a, a bad work environment so that also has to be uh dealt with accordingly to prevent that from going forward so anyway that's a quick uh tidbit i'm and i'm happy to go into this further depending on some uh knowledge and background so on and so forth and then i'll make more videos and hopefully explain in more detail let me know in the comments uh, below if you, if there's anything you want me to cover or express more i'm always happy to do so within my limited knowledge have a good day